Hey, Yaba. Apologize to her. She's hurt. I don't care about customers at this kind of place. You fell on your own. Could I please have ninety boxes of nine flowers each? What? Yes, we're using it for our classroom. What? I'm Ito Keiji, twenty-five. I run a flower shop on my own that had been my grandfather's. Last year, when my parents passed away, and I needed to run this business on my own, I thought I would collapse from the anxiety. But thanks to our customers, have been around for long, and to some new customers, I'm still here. Well, halfway more to go for the day. That moment. Keiji, hello. Thought I'd come by again. Mina, hi. Wow. That smile. It can't be legal to be that cute. The person behind the smile that was shot even an angel is this Hanadera Mina. She's been coming by the shop every Friday since about two years ago, and is one of the people who have supported me through everything. Your flowers are so pretty, no matter when I come by. <laughs> well, it is a flower shop. Says a lot about how well you take care of them. Thank you. Wow. She's always attractive. It must be obvious by now, but I like her quite a bit. I don't remember how it started, but I always look forward to these days when I get to spend time with her at the shop. So the usual for you then? Yes, ten garberas, please. Here you go. Wow, so pretty. Thank you. Mina, you really like your garberas, don't you? Yes. This flower changed my life, actually. What? Haha. Uh -huh. We enjoyed a casual conversation like so, and said goodbye. But that night, wow, you're still doing that flower shop. Ah,、oh, Yaba, this guy was a classmate of mine at high school. Yaba Sugio, he works at the neighboring Premium Flower Shop. Impressive, really, that he can run such a tiny shop. Not even a girlfriend. Lonely for life. Your future is not so bright, is it? He always finds a way to insult me for a long time now. Ah, <sighs> this must be the hundredth time. Huh? I'm just thinking about your future for you. Just quit this ridiculous shop and come to mine. I'll introduce you. I'm okay. It's true that mine is way smaller, but I want to protect this shop that's been around since my grandfather. Huh? Head in the clouds, are we? Say whatever. I'm going to ask you now that I have the opportunity. But why are you always stepping on my toes? You be you and I be me. What's so wrong about this? Why are you? When I, huh? Huh? <laughs> Who cares? Just don't go bankrupt, okay? Hey, Yaba. What? What have I ever done to him? Whoa! Ah!、Uh... Watch out, Nanny. It's because you tried to get into this excuse of a shop. Are you alright? Ouch! Hey, Yaba. Apologize to her. She's hurt. I don't care about customers at this kind of place. You fell on your own. Hey, wait. It's fine. I wasn't watching out. Your foot. It's swollen. Let's just get inside, alright? I took the old lady inside my shop, and took out bandages from the first aid kit. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do all this. You're welcome. We all need to look out for each other. Anyway, this was just first aid. Let's get to the hospital now. I'll take it in my car. No, that's asking too much of you. I'll have someone take me. The woman took out her phone from her pocket and caught someone. A few minutes later, Mistress, are you right? Mistress. Thank you for everything. I thank you deeply for looking after the mistress. Oh no, it was nothing. Truly. Thank you. I'll thank you properly another day. The man and the lady bowed at me, and disappeared at the speed of light. I closed the shop. Who was that anyway? She had a limousine, and someone that looked like a butler. Whatever. I mustn't speculate about her private life. Anyway, today was quite a day. I liked the floaty mode after I closed the shop. The exhaustion had caught up to me, and I'd fallen asleep without getting to my bed. Hmm. Where is this? Oh, a dream. As I looked the distance, 
I saw a woman with a short hair crying. Oh no! <coughs> I'm so hopeless person. I have nothing on me. I can't go on like this. I took her shoulder. This woman whose name I didn't even know. I know it was tough. I can see it in your eyes. But you're not a hopeless person. You're a resilient person who hasn't given up. <coughs> hmm. This sight. Here you go. The flower? So pretty. It's hard now, but the flower will bloom someday. That's why. Whoa. Whoa. A dream. I remember now. That was five years ago. There was a woman crying to herself close to the shop. I didn't know her name, nor could see her face properly. I never met her again. But she seemed so sad to me, and I thought she'd fade away if I left her alone. So I talked to her. I wonder, how is she doing now? That night, did I give her a flower or not? My feelings were still clouded up as I climbed into bed. A few days later, hmm. I couldn't stop thinking about her since she seemed a bit like her. No, that's not possible. Is something the matter? Oh, Mina! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Don't worry about it. I just came in. We came to you today to thank you. What? Did I do something? Keiji, thank you for the other day. Oh, your. My foot is good as new now. Thanks to you, thank you. Oh, that's good to hear. I was worried about you. Right, we've forgotten our introductions. I'm Hanadera Yoshino, Mina's grandmother. Really? Please let me thank you as well. You took good care of her that night. No problem at all. I just did what anyone would have done. So, to thank you. Could I please have ninety boxes of nine flowers each? What? Yes, we're using it for our classroom. What? Have I never said? My grandmother is a master in flower arrangement. It turned out that Mina's family was prestigious in flower arrangement, and Mina was supposed to take after them. She and her grandmother have been winning many competitions so far, and Miss Yoshino has been making a name for herself internationally. I didn't know that you guys are so cool. I've been hearing about you from Mina a lot. Your personality, your flowers, everything is perfect. That's why I thought I would visit your shop that night. I'm sorry I didn't get to purchase anything because of my carelessness. No, it was Yaba's fault. He's always been like that. It's not something you should feel sorry for. So, it would be great if you could deliver our flowers by noon the day after tomorrow. Of course, we will take care of the delivery fee. Yes, of course. Yes, a rare big purchase. Here I go. What's up with him? Looking so happy. Is he now? I'll never let him again. Watching me, and crying his eyes out just over there, I didn't notice. On the day of, no way! What a beautiful manner. So the Hanadera family must be pretty prestigious. Keiji, over here. Oh, hello. Thank you for coming, Mina. Could you show him to the room? Yes, of course. Mina, thank you so much for helping out. No problem. I like being with you. I must be the one thanking you. Does that mean she? No, no way. Mina's just being nice to me. Don't think too highly of yourself, Kenji.、Uh, oh, are those Garbras? <laughs> Did you notice? They're all Garbras from your shop. We're displaying them like that all the time. They're pretty. I feel comforted just by looking at them. It feels good when you compliment me like that, Mina. The gerbas in your hair—it looks good on you. You really like them, don't you? Thank you. The garbara is what pushed me to go on. It's my spirit flower. What? Before, I was struggling at making progress in my flower arrangement. 
and people would constantly compare me to my grandmother. I didn't know where to go from there. I sensed melancholy in her gaze. Beautiful. But in that moment, I received a single garbara from someone. It was then that I could finally escape from that darkness and feel that I wanted to give it my best again. Wait, Mina. Was that? No way. The woman that night. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. Wait, really? Was that really? No, I shouldn't assume. In truth, I can't get the idea out of my head. But I knew she would only find it disturbing, so I couldn't say anything further. Oh, KG, welcome back. I was worried you're already close up. Sarcasm, Artie. This shop is still operating, so don't worry about it. Wait, what about your work? It's just our weekly day off. You should know that if you call yourself my best friend. I don't remember someone like this being my best friend. Well, it's the truth though, isn't it? This ancient shop, it's not going to last long. As your best friend, I'm only trying to say it nicely. You don't get a lot of customers anyway, do you? Just quit it, will you? You're always poking fun at me at my shop. I've been wondering this whole time, but why do you care about me so much? Is it that you did something to me that I should know about? I'm also. What? You also did that the other day. Started to say something. Is something wrong? Hmph. <laughs> you should just close your shop. Huh? Wait, Yaba. What was that face? I'd never seen it on him before. Watching Yaba's back as he walked away, I only stood there, unable to say anything. For a few days since, I couldn't think of anything but of Yaba and Mina. Yaba's face that day, that time when his shop almost had to close for good, it was the same face. And Mina, oh my head is going to explode. Um, Keiichi, are you all right? Whoa, Mina, and Miss Yoshino, hello. Sorry, I didn't notice you. No, it's all right. I only wondered if you were bothered about something. Don't worry about it. So, what can I get for you today? About that, from next time in our classroom, we'd like to start using your flowers regularly. What? The flowers you got us the other day—they were of really high quality, and our students were all so happy arranging them. Their finished products were just amazing. Wow! Thank you for such kind words. Uh huh. It's just all you're doing, Keiichi. <laughs> I mean, it is a flower shop, but are you really sure about that? You must have ties with another flower shop. Just then, Miss Yoshino's expression turned cloudy. Right, but that shop—they like to be rude, and I didn't enjoy their company for a long time. I couldn't cut ties with them because I knew they partnered with us. Since my grandfather's time. Oh, really? But if I want to continue any partnership, I know that the people themselves are important, not only the flowers. And Keiichi, you were so kind to me, even though you never seen me before. So I feel safe with you. I like you to consider it. The two pairs of eyes before me are shining with strong conviction. They are very committed. My answer is simply then, of course, I would love to, if only you are right with it. Are you sure? Thank you very much. I'm so happy, and I want to become closer to you. Warmth has just closed in on my shop. You should stop that, you know. Oh, hold on. You're. Yeah, sorry about that the other day, but anyway. This shop doesn't really look after their flowers. What are you talking about, Yaba? You don't know anything. I've got evidence my mates had sent me. Shall I? Yaba then took out his phone from his pocket and pulled out a picture for all to see. There was a wilting rose with a bug stuck inside. Wait a minute. This is bull. I've never sold anything like this to a customer. If this goes viral, 
It's going to be over for you. I was at a dead end, and had my head in my hands. This flower. When was it purchased? At what time? Uh, six thirty p.m. on Friday, I think. My work ends at six p.m. So. That's strange. We come by the shop every Friday at around that time, but there wasn't anyone buying a rose. What? And anyway, that flower. It's not Keiichi's, no matter how you look at it. That's true. It's a bit faded out, and the leaves are going bad. But flowers do that, don't they? After a couple of hours. Not true. Keiichi's flowers are looked after properly, and they don't wilt just after a short time. This has to be. Something bought at a different shop and had a bug intentionally thrown into it. At these words, Yaba felt silent, pulling on others' legs. Your business could really end if you keep at it, you know. Keiichi's shop is like my second home. It feels that safe to me. If you try to compromise it, I'm not going to let it go easily. What the? What? It's always Kenji. What did I do? Y- Yaba, when my shop is not. What's the matter? Talk to us.、Uh, I'm. We had the shop. Just my mother and I. You're also. It's just like this one coming undone. Couldn't say was busy, even if you were being polite. But we still wanted our customers to be happy, so we've been keeping at it. Just the two of us. My mother, she liked Gerberas the most. When I'd be crying, she'd always give them to me, so I could find the strength to go on. Gerberas flower language, progress. But when I was in middle school, my mother passed away and the shop closed down. I, I couldn't bear it. That I couldn't say something so important to me. And then. He found myself who had talked of their business proudly. When he got curious, he looked into my shop and saw me doing it happily with both my parents. While his own business closed down, and he lost his parents, he was consumed with envy, and started to pull my legs. Even so, in order to start up the business again, he worked part time at another flower shop, and did his best. But it didn't go according to plan, and he came away exhausted. But you know it's wrong to bring others down like that. I know that, but I didn't know what else. I know how you feel. I've also gone through my struggles. My parents passed away, and my customers stopped showing up altogether, and I couldn't bear the weight of all that despair and anxiety. You also, but how did you come back to it? Well, that's thanks to Mina and some of my other customers who encouraged me. So I could look forward again. Hey Yaba, although I can't forgive what you've done to me, you've also admitted that you've struggled a lot to get here, and you've been doing your best to move forward. That's all because you've loved your mother and your shop, right? That's right. But there's no way I can get back to it after doing some horrible things. Ugh, the Gerbera, my mother's favorite flower. If only you keep looking forward, the path is going to open up for you. Someday, you're definitely going to be able to save your shop, because the way you're trying to make it happen, it's already a sight to see. <laughs> But I've said such horrible things to you. Thank you, thank you. Still the same. Keiichi is always able to brighten people up. Still the same. Do you remember five years ago when you gifted me that Garbera? You said those same words. Oh, so it was you. Yes, that's why I'm here now. Thank you, truly. That's well. That's really great, Mr. Yaba. I can't forgive you, but I do know the feeling. I've also been in a dark place and couldn't be kind toward others. But just like Keiichi says, there's going to be a day when things bloom back again, just like they did for me. Kenji, I've been horrible to you, and you, Mr. Yoshino. I'm very sorry about that time. It's nothing you can fix with money, 
but I'll pay anything. I'm good, but you must bring your shop back up. For your mother, if anything. I won't make you suffer either. Good luck, all right? With your future flower shop. Yes! Sugiyo's laughter was shining as though a clear sky after a storm. Since then, Sugiyo went back to his hometown. There was still his plot of land where the flower shop had been. His life goes on like so. We must go on, even if everything tries to stop you. Keiichi, that day when I had a garbra in my hair, do you know why? What? If I had it on, I thought you might realize that, and I had some hope that you would. I'm sorry. I did notice a little bit, but I had no idea how to bring it up. It's all right. I also wasn't brave enough. And there was another reason. What? I. KG. I. <sighs> the Gerbera's flower language is progress. Just like that. My relationship with Mina progresses one step at a time. Humans are such weak creatures. That's why we must support each other however we can. Thank you for watching. If you liked this story, please press the like button and subscribe.